Have a nice and blessed day everyone. Previously, I uploaded about the uh, circumcision, the how to perform circumcision part 1 and part 2. And it draws a lot of um, opinions of uh, changing of ideas from the viewers. And uh, fr frankly speaking, I learned from it also. There are things that I do not know which I, I learned from the opinion of the other viewers. So today, I decided to uh, shoot a video again on about uh, circumcision. But this time, it's about uh, the three basic uh, techniques used in circumcision and the disadvantage or the advantages of the circumcision and um, by the way I am not a physician I am not a doctor uh, so um, but I will deliver this uh, this discussion on the best of my ability on the best of my uh, knowledge I would like to start with uh, what is circumcision but I won't discuss uh, too much anymore because maybe it's beyond my uh, uh, responsibility, it's, it's beyond my capacity or my uh, profession to discuss more on it. Um, as we all know, circumcision is the incision of the, uh, the dorsal part or the foreskin of the penile to expose the gland. So before, uh, there are only two reasons why circumcision is done so it's because of first is the cultural or the religious uh, reason and the second is the uh, medical reason so by the way I'm not encouraging or I'm I, I, I'm not telling everyone to to be circumcised or not to be circumcised everything is depends on your uh, opinion uh, or on your like if you, you if you wanna be circumcised or if you don't wanna be circumcised, it's up to you. Let me uh, discuss to you a little of the three basic uh, techniques in circumcision. The first is the dorsal slit or the straight cut. Second is the um, V cut, and the third is the German cut. There is another one, the uh, the forcep. Um, guided technique but I, I have no idea about it I haven't seen uh, this technique so I won't elaborate on it the first procedure is the dorsal slit or the straight cut so this dorsal slit or the straight cut is a simple procedure just uh, incising or cutting the upper portion of the uh, foreskin to expose the glands and it is more on the advantages because it is quick and easier to perform uh, you can perform it in less than 15 minutes and it uses only uh, local anesthesia and it has less tendency of uh, bleeding and of course the healing process is better than the other um, shorter than the other procedure the second procedure is the V cut. So this V cut is uh, almost the same with the straight cut, only that it is done uh, in V, V style, letter V style. So this V cut is uh, recommended for those who have uh, excess for skin. So it is uh, also just the same with the straight cut. Um, it's also quick and easy to perform uh, using only also using the local anesthesia the third uh, technique is the German cut or the resection so this German cut is the removal of the foreskin around the the penis so the advantages of this are the uh, it minimizes the risk of removing too much or too little skin because uh, the skin is being marked and um, it is more neat and more slick and the penis or the glands 
uh, can be more visualized or more exposed than the two uh, the two procedures the disadvantages of it is that uh, it is more complicated more complex because it should be done in an operating room with an expert or a physician and it can't be done by a single person by a single doctor and it chooses more instrument and also uh, it chooses general anesthesia so the patient will be put under general anesthesia and it has a tendency of more bleeding and time consuming so these are the three uh, basic techniques in circumcision as I have said earlier circumcision uh, is being done for two reasons the first is the religious and the cultural uh, reason and the second is the for medical reason so let me just uh, tell you about the medical reason so or the advantages of having circumcised so this this discussion maybe will clear some thoughts of those who are going to decide to be circumcised or not to be circumcised so I, I will be giving some of the uh, medical advantages of circumcision for medical reason um, circumcision is done in a problematic cases like uh, urinary tract infection phimosis balantophostitis let me now give you the effects of the circumcision first is the effect on the sexually transmitted diseases it was proven it has an evidence that circumcision prevents or reduces the uh, prevalence of HIV of being infected with HIV is especially those people with having sex with the same um, sex like men having sex with men especially if they are practicing the anal sex in fact the world health organization um, recommends the circumcision as a part of the comprehensive uh, prevention in HIV program for those uh, countries with a higher rate of uh, HIV and also uh, circumcision um, reduces the risk of having or being infected with uh, female to male HIV transmission but of course it only gives partial protection against HIV so we, we, we don't have we we need not to rely on this but still the best is uh, the other method of protecting ourselves from infection of HIV circumcised man has a less tendency of being infected with this uh, cancer causing types of human papilloma virus circumcision also uh, lowers the risk of being infected with syphilis chancroid um, genital herpes or the uh, trichomonas vaginalis in the other sexually transmitted diseases the second effect of circumcision is that it helps treat um, phimosis, balanitis, and balanophostitis. The third effect of circumcision is to the uh, urinary tract. So circumcision reduces the risk of having urinary tract infection. So how it is? How it is? The orifice at the tip of the penis host many um, urinary tract system disease causing bacteria so that's why to men who are uncircumcised 
there are there is a more uh, there is a bigger tendency of always having this urinary tract infection or chronic UTI the fourth effect is the cancer circumcision has a protective effect on having the risk of um, penile cancer or the uh, cervical cancer for female and also it prevents the risk of having a prostate cancer for male the last is its effect to women's health so this uh, circumcision also uh, reduces the risk for female of having a cervical cancer for the adverse effect of circumcision there are only limited effects or side effects of circumcision so only bleeding if uh, not controlled and um, pain of course and other complication or bacterial infection if done in um, unsanitized or unsterile area and I want to clarify this in your mind or in your thought for those who worry of the sexual uh, sensitivity or, or the sexual effect of the circumcision. So circumcision does not reduce the sensitivity of the skin or reduce um, sexual uh, sensitivity. It does not reduce as what others are worrying that circumcision reduce sexual satisfaction so circumcision according to study does not reduce sexual satisfaction and circumcision also has nothing to do with a painful intercourse or other sexual dysfunction this may be due to other complications like bacterial infection, viral infection, or whatever medical um, complications. I hope I was able to deliver to you, to, to impart to you my knowledge about this uh, issue, and I was able to clear some thoughts in your minds about this issue. So, um, feel free to write down below your comment and, and I will try my very best to answer those questions, those queries. Thank you for watching. Thank you for staying with me. God bless everyone. Bye.